Hey, you big fuzzy puppy.
tidy. So you saw me make this. I'm going to do a voiceover if I haven't already done it. Um, right now I am standing a little bit more, probably four feet away, and it is quite uncomfortably warm. You can see it's got a really good flame in there. We have, wow, that's hot, a really good flame in there. You can't see it, but I can. Yet it's burning clear up top. The little smoke that you do see up top is the bird poop that was on that one burning off. But, um, so you saw the vortex is working quite nicely. I can feel a little bit of air being pulled in. I'll see if I can get a piece of paper and show you that the air is being pulled in there quite nicely from the vortex barrel and it is burning quite clean and quite hot. This will be excellent for the biochar which is inside there and for heating an area. Because right now, I'm, I'm backing up even now. It's, um, I'm a good six feet away and I can feel that heat quite nicely. So I will let you, I'll keep updating you as it goes. I might have to tighten this first barrel ring a little bit on my next setup. But with those cases in there, I won't have to worry about it. I'm looking for a more of a clean burn this time than to make the biochar in the actual barrel. So we shall see. Also, the rain might be coming in a little bit earlier than anticipated. Alrighty, so we've got fire down at the bottom now, finally. We have gotten a little smoky up top. Not sure why, I probably got too much green stuff in there, but we're gonna let it burn and let her go out and we'll check her again. Alrighty, we've had about a half hour of really smoky stuff, but as you can see, we are burning quite clear again. I assume that that was all just the green stuff that I accidentally threw in that it was mixed all together. So hopefully we burn clear from here on out. Alrighty, it's been about an hour and a half since we started. Everything's starting to cool down. There's still some embers in there. It looks like the top one might have popped off a little bit, but we're going to let that cook until everything cools and then the bottom three all look nice so we'll take those apart again once it has cooled off down there it is still quite hot quite nice this will be excellent project if you have a project outside set one of these up and then cook it off let everything warm up i will show you those once it's cooled off all righty it's still warm to the touch give me a second as i get my gloves on I would prefer um, welding gloves, but for some reason I can't find mine right now. So, perfect. Hot. Very hot. So, set you to cool. Every single one of these is perfect biochar inside. So we're gonna let those cool. I think we might have warped the cans just a little bit with the heat. We've got a good bunch of ash down there that I'm gonna let that finish cooling. Are you recording? Okay, you are. Gonna let that finish cooling. That is going on the duck manure pile. And that is that. So aside from about a half hour of really smoky stuff because of all this green stuff that I added, it burnt really clean. So if I let this dry and then just use the green stuff inside the cans, that'll work great. And that works great for just a regular burn barrel as well. So I'm going to upgrade that one, maybe a little neater, I'll find out. 
Um, and yeah, so now I've made four of those. It took about an hour and a half. However, it's been about three hours for it to cool down because it got so warm. But yeah, got plenty of really good wood ash for the garden and for the manure pile. We got plenty of biochar. And this way I can burn through a bunch more of this scrap a lot faster. Hi, Doc. That's his favorite spot. Like, he really loves it right there. I don't know why. But anyways, that'll allow me to burn through a lot more of this scrap a lot faster. Especially come this winter. Because I have five or six of these buckets to use for kindling and for biochar inside this year already. So, alrighty. I hope you up you yeah, yeah, yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you enjoyed this vortex biochar burn barrel segment and i will be using this a lot more and i'll probably upgrade it again eventually when i do i'll let you know